What's up, you Sanctioners, and welcome to Sanctioneering. So we're gonna try using a whiteboard today, even though uh, I like using Photoshop, but it's a little time consuming, so let me know what you like more. And uh, I got a new shirt. Wow! Even though I'm, I'm low-key afraid to, to wear it, because I know it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna continue with Richard and Felder Chemical Process Analysis. Or 2.9. We're almost done with uh, unit conversions and all that jazz. I got some comments that, you know, these problems are too easy, but come on, it's the first chemi book and it's the second chapter, so if you're good at these, then good for you, but if not, then we're gonna go through these problems. So, here we have a waste treatment pond. Uh, yeah, waste treatment pond is 50 meters long and 50 meters long and 15 meters wide, has a depth of 2 meters. The density of water is 85.3 pound mass per feet cube. And it wants us to calculate the weight of the pond in pound force using a single dimensional equation. All right. So like I said, hopefully this is a bit of review, but um, I recommend you try to do this problem by yourself. So first let's draw a pond. And since it gave us like these nice rectangular dimensions, let's just, even though if you ask me, ponds are quite round, but I'm just going to assume it's like a rectangle. So this is our pond. Oh god, that's horrible, horrible. I should never be an artist. 50 meters long, 15 meters wide, and depth of 2 meters. Alright? So supposedly, pretend that's our pond. Supposedly, that's water. That's water. Alright? And we want to calculate the weight. So what is weight? That's right. Weight is force of gravity, which is mass times gravity. And so we need the mass, which is going to be from density. So do some algebra. If density equals mass over volume, then mass is density times volume. And we know volume is going to be length times width times height. Length times width times height. All right, so we're gonna plug volume into this guy and the mass into this guy. Put it all together in a single dimensional equation and call it a day. Wow! I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. So the weight is gonna be the mass, so length times width times height, times the density, times the gravity, gravitational constant. All right, so if we plug these guys in, Length times width times height is 50 times 250 meters times 15 meters times 2 meters. Alright, so that's this. And then the density is given as 85.3. 85.3 pound mass per feet cubed. Did you try it out by yourself first, by the way? Um, so that's the density. And the gravity, so remember from the last video, gravity is, yeah, we can use a 9.8, but since it wants it in pounds force, which is American units, we're going to use 32.2 um, feet per second squared. All right. And it looks like we could just plug and chug, but since we know we got to cancel out stuff, we're going to convert um, meters cubed. So this is actually going to be meters cubed and cancel out with feet cubed. So, from my Sanctuary conversion table, put a screenshot right there. A meter cubed is 35.3145. Meter cubed is 35.3145. Feet cubed. And we know that, uh, what is it? The conversion for the American unit is, that's right, 32.2. Pound mass times feet per second squared per pounds force. So we are indeed left with pounds force. So we can cancel out meters cubed, meters cubed, feet cubed, feet cubed, feet per second squared, feet per second squared, and pound mass. And we are indeed left with pounds force. So if we plug this in, I got my trusty TI. Oh, that rhymed. All right, so I'm gonna do 
50 times 15 times 2 times 85.3. Uh, well, the 32.2 actually cancels out, so I'm gonna cancel out that guy, that guy and just uh, multiply by 35.3145. And our answer is, well, that's a hefty answer. Four, so the weight is gonna be, it's red and green. I like, I like green for answers, AKY. Four point. 5, blah, 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 5, 2, times 10 to the, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times 10 to the 6. Uh, that's going to be in pounds floors. And that is our answer. All right. So, yeah, let me know what you like more. Does this, is this messier? Is this cleaner? Uh, yeah, I like using, like, Photoshop because I can put, like, little pictures and stuff and, like, if I need to like cancel or erase or copy and paste, that also ride. Hmm, I'm on a roll today. All right, let's just keep it going. Yeah, uh, let's try two two point ten. Should we should we do that? Try two point ten.